Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. Many people would love to foster kittens, but the process can seem daunting at first. If you're interested in fostering kittens, don't be intimidated. This guide will walk you through the process step by step from the very beginning to the very end to help you decide whether or not fostering is right for you. As a quick disclaimer, this video is not medical advice. You should follow the directions provided by the organization you're fostering from and your veterinarian. But this guide is meant to give you an idea of what typically goes into fostering. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's go over the process of fostering kittens. Getting ready to foster kittens. Before you decide to officially become a foster guardian to kittens, it's important to fully evaluate your circumstances to make sure that it is a good idea for you. Fostering kittens is a big commitment, often involving getting up in the middle of the night and providing extremely attentive care. Even though fostering kittens does mean you'll get to snuggle and cuddle with some kittens, that isn't the whole story. Fostering is hard work that requires a lot of time and energy. Every kitten is different and has different care needs. Depending on the age, size, and health of the kitten, it may require more or less commitment. However, However, all kittens need lots of love, attention, and care. With this in mind, ask yourself the following questions before deciding to foster kittens. 1. Does your schedule allow you to attend to kittens frequently, potentially every 2-3 to three hours? 2. Is your space suitable for kittens? Is it safe and clean, and can you provide the kittens with their own space separate from other animals or people? Three. Do you have the resources and tools to provide for kittens, either financially, emotionally, etc.? 4. Can you provide transportation, to and from the shelter, veterinarian, etc.? If you can confidently answer yes to the above questions and are willing to commit to fostering, you can start officially preparing for kittens. Registering to Foster Kittens The first step to take once you've decided to foster kittens is to register. There are various places in which you can register to foster kittens, including local shelters, rescue groups, or larger accredited organizations. The process will vary depending on where you apply, but it will most likely include an application, orientation, and training. Once you've been approved to foster kittens, you'll be contacted whenever there are kittens ready for you. Preparing your space for kittens Before receiving a litter of kittens, you'll need to prep your space for their arrival. Make sure to give the kittens a room where they can be separated from any other animals you may have. This room should be climate controlled and secure. Additionally, you need to kitten proof the room to ensure they don't get into trouble. Remove any objects that the kittens can get into, including plants, trash cans, breakable items, and curtains. Block electrical outlets and close off spaces where your kittens could get stuck. Once you've prepared the room the kittens will be staying in, you'll need to supply it properly. Some essentials include 1. A heat source Kittens aren't able to regulate their body temperature, so it's important to provide warmth for them. One option is to set a heating pad on low and cover it with a blanket. 2. Sleeping areas. Provide lots of blankets or old towels for kittens to sleep on as well as a more secure sleeping area. This should ideally be covered, like a cat carrier without the door, to give the kittens a sense of security. 3. Litter boxes. If your kittens are over the age of 2 weeks, you should provide a litter box. This litter box should have shallow sides and a small amount of non-clumping litter. Depending on the size of the litter, you may need more than one. Water bowls or bottles and formula. Kittens under the age of 3-4 to four weeks should not be given water bowls as they are not weaned. These kittens will need to be bottle fed with formula. You will need to provide new bottles for every litter as they should not be reused. 5. Age Appropriate Food Depending on the age of the kitten, you'll provide either formula, soft kitten food, or dry kibble. 6. Toys Properly sanitized cat toys or scratching posts are great for kittens to learn how to play. Just make sure that they are kitten safe. 7. Cat Carrier You'll need a carrier to transport the kittens to and from the shelter and veterinary appointments. Bringing the kittens home the amount of kittens you receive will vary depending on the litter. Typically, shelters prefer to keep litters together. The age may also vary from newborn to a few months. In the first 24 hours, introduce the kittens to their space and feed them right away. It is also a good idea to establish a routine right away. It's important to feed your kittens consistently and on time, which we'll talk about more in a bit. This will not only keep your kittens healthy and happy, but it will contribute to a feeling of safety and security as they always know when their next meal is coming. You'll probably have these kittens for at least the next few weeks, so it's important to maintain a safe, loving environment for them to grow up in. Scheduling Veterinary Appointments while you have your kittens, you'll need to schedule various appointments with the veterinarian for checkups, vaccines, and spay and neutering. The shelter or rescue group that you are fostering with should help you by providing a list of all the necessary vaccines and the medical history of your kittens. When kittens are between 6 to 8 weeks old, they need to begin receiving vaccines. 
This process lasts for around 8 to 12 weeks. Staying up to date with vaccines will ensure that your kittens are on track to grow up happy and healthy. Additionally, kittens must be spayed and neutered before they are officially adopted. Once kittens are 2 months of age and at least 2 pounds, they can be spayed or neutered. Caring for the kittens as a foster guardian, you are responsible for ensuring your kittens develop properly and learn important social skills. Caring for your kittens will include teaching them socialization skills, litter box habits, and playtime skills. Properly socializing kittens entails familiarizing them with new situations, environments, and people, as well as helping them become more comfortable with being handled. Teach them to associate new experiences positively by providing lots of treats and love. Familiarize them with common noises and situations that they will encounter at their forever home like radios and vacuums. One of the best ways to socialize socialize kittens is to play with them. Encourage your kittens to play with interactive toys or solo toys. Slowly get them used to being petted and handled, and occasionally hand feed them. Teaching kittens proper social skills at a young age will result in better adjusted adult cats. When the kittens are around 3-4 to four weeks old, it's a good time to introduce them to the litter box. The kittens will be naturally curious about the box, but you can also encourage them to use it by gently sending them in it every 15-20 to 20 minutes while they are awake. Make sure to never punish a kitten for not using the litter box, as this is an ineffective training technique that will only lead your kitten to develop distrust for humans. Instead, rely on positive reinforcement and reward the kittens when they use the litter box. This goes for all kitten behaviors. Never punish bad behavior, but always reward good behaviors. Feeding Guide Depending on the age of the kittens, the feeding process will vary. Kittens that are between 0 to 4 weeks will need to be bottle fed with kitten formula. Newborn kittens should be fed every 2 to 3 hours, while 3 to 4 week old kittens can be fed every 4 hours. Once kittens are between 4 to 5 weeks, they begin the weaning process. During this time, they will transition from formula to regular cat food. To do this, provide them with a mixture of formula and wet kitten food with a ratio of 2 parts wet food and 1 part formula. This is often referred to as slurry or gruel. Provide a fresh batch of warm gruel every 4 to 6 hours and make sure that the kittens have food at all times. Supplement the gruel with a bottle every 8 hours if the kittens aren't taking to it right away. It may take some time for them to transition. Once the kittens are 5-6 to six weeks older, they should be able to eat wet or dry cat food on their own. Dry food should become the primary source of food for the kittens when they are 6-7 to seven weeks old. However, you could still provide smaller amounts of wet food to keep them eating. Dry food should be available to the kittens at all times of the day, and wet food should be provided a few times daily. Water should also always be available for the kittens. It's important to make sure that your kittens are eating enough and growing at a healthy rate. It's a good idea to regularly weigh the kittens and keep track of their growth in a journal. Emergency Situations while you hopefully never have to deal with an emergency with your kittens, it is crucial to know what to do if you encounter one. Be familiar with normal kitten behavior so you can detect when something is wrong. While it is normal for newborn kittens to sleep most of the day, older kittens should have lots of energy. Older kittens displaying signs of lethargy may be sick or unwell. Every kitten is different, but if your kitten is not waking up or cannot seem to stand up on its own, go to the veterinarian immediately. Other signs of sickness or injury include gasping, bleeding, limping, loss of appetite, vomiting, or pain. Diarrhea is common in kittens, but it can be a sign of an underlying problem if it's consistently watery. If you are dealing with an emergency, go to an emergency veterinary clinic. For other health concerns, schedule appointments with your veterinarian at least 24 hours in advance. As a general rule, if your kitten is still eating, drinking, and staying active, it is not an emergency. If your kitten is lethargic, not eating, and not drinking, it is an emergency. Every situation is different and it's up to you to determine whether or not a situation requires emergency help or not. However, it's better to be safe than sorry. Getting your kittens ready for adoption. Typically, you'll care for kittens for around 1-8 to eight weeks. Once kittens are 8 weeks of age, at least 2 pounds, and spayed or neutered, they are ready to be adopted. While getting ready to say goodbye to your kittens, there are some things you'll need to do to get them ready for their forever homes. Advertising the kittens. The most important thing to do is to find your kitten a suitable home. While the shelter or rescue will aid with this process, you can also contribute by advertising your kittens. Include pictures, age, sex, location, medical information, treatment, the ready for adoption date, and descriptions of the kitten's personality and story. Advertise at local spots, parks, adoption centers, or with your family and friends. The more you spread the word about your kittens, the better. It's always better to have too many applicants to adopt than too few. Saying goodbye. Saying goodbye can be one of the most difficult parts of fostering, especially if you've become very attached to the kittens. While it can be hard, know that you've done a great service and have helped the kittens find wonderful forever homes. If the adoptive families are comfortable with it, you can ask for updates and photos as the kittens grow up. While it is bittersweet, pride yourself on having provided a safe place for the kittens as they grew up, and get ready for the next litter. Now we are thrilled to introduce a brand new segment to the channel, Cat of the Week. The very first cat of the week is Maggie, the channel's mascot. 
Maggie is a four-year-old tuxedo rescue from New Jersey. At one year old, she was found abandoned on the side of the road with a litter of kittens. After all her kittens found forever homes, she was adopted by us. Today, Maggie is a happy and well-adjusted cat who thinks she's the queen of the household. To enter your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. So, do you think you have what it takes to foster kittens? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.